We have about five minutes left. I have one question, and then we'll open up for as many audience questions as we need to. Uh, Edward, one of my favorite scenes this season was when you break down with these arms. Could you talk a little bit about this prickly, volatile relationship between father and son? Well, yeah, that's five minutes right there. Um, are you talking about the time when, when I find out that he's asylum? Yeah. Oh, that's, and, and, and that's and not a breakdown, man. That's, that was a complete, you know, I, I was drunk completely. That was a psychotic episode. It was definitely the beginning of the end. And from that moment on, you'll see as the time goes on, it does bring about a, a tremendous change to it. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was one take. I refuse to do those scenes more than once. Uh, it's really very difficult to go through that journey and uh, get self-conscious really quick sometimes during those kind of scenes. So you just got to catch it. So I, I made them do the close-ups right away. And uh, we did that right away and we did it once. So what you see is a, uh, just an all-out understanding of the moment and just pouring it through. And it came out very well, but yeah, it, it was uh, uh, it, it was painful to find out that Hogan, you know, that, that at that point that Colonel Tyler was what he was, and uh, and it's a great. I think the greatest part of the whole thing is when Apollo goes to see uh, Time, and he's in an airline, and he, he, he just hits him, boom, and then he just says, he goes, so "Where's the old man?" He says, "Where you left him." And then we all know the audience knows where he left me. It's uh, so again that, that was an incredible moment in, in the story, and, and it only gets worse. <laughs> so the final season is just brutal. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you if you haven't seen, if you haven't built up the speed and seen every single episode getting to the final season of this coming up in January, don't even begin to see the program. Save it. Save, don't, don't get involved in it, save it until it comes out on DVD, whatever, um, and go back and see it because it, it's, uh, if you're going to take the final journey and be there in the final moments and go through that kind of pain, then you might as well have gone through the entire existence together because it's really an ugly experience. It's not an uplifting show. <laughs> Can you give me the last question? James, is there any chance you can sing Spooky for us? <laughs> <laughs> and I think we have time for one more question. <laughs> Hi, um, I had a question for Michael Hogan also, actually. Uh, how did you feel this season about Ty getting into a relationship with six, half of the six? <laughs> let, let me just say this. How I, the frack would you feel? <laughs> actors go through many, many changes in their lives, especially on screen, but no one has had the art that this man has had with his character. This old bruiser man ended up making it with the best and the finest, and I, had to, I directed him through the first moment, and he, he refused to believe it. I said, no, no, Hogan, you got to kiss her. I said, what? 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 After, like, and, and guess what, Hogan? You're gonna make love to her. And he goes, What? <laughs> Come on, get away from me, man. I said, No, you have to. He oh. says, Oh, I'm. Oh. <laughs> he became the strongest leading man on the show. I gotta tell you, he's got the best arc of any square <laughs> button. So, congratulations, Michael. You deserve it. Ladies and gentlemen, please look to the front of the room and to your right and please exit through the front door.